Okay, so Johnny Gill was on a D.L. Hughley um, show late night, and he talked about certain things. He talked about his new single called Soul of a Woman. But then D.L. Hughley asked him a question about, did you ever feel that you were ever a part of the group New Edition? Now, a lot of people today surprised. He said, no, he really never felt a part of it. And the reason why he never felt a part of it is because when every time there was internal issues, you know, even if somebody was in the wrong, they would still take the other groups. The fans would take their favorite side, regardless if they were wrong or not. So, and he really never thought that a lot of the hardcore any fans never really accepted him as a member. So that's why, that's what he said, what he said. And then, you know, as you know, New Edition has had their issues, you know, after the movie came out, they were supposed to go on tour. They didn't go on tour. A lot of stuff did not fall the way it's supposed to go. So BBD teamed up with Bobby and they did their own thing. And Johnny and Ralph teamed up together and they did their own thing. Now Johnny's going to have a song with Ralph on Johnny Gill's upcoming album. So now you have a division of RBRM versus Ralph and Johnny. You know, that's what they have right now. So now, you know, and it seems like the fans like, love the spinoffs more than they like the mothership. That's like Law and Order and Law and Order SVU and Law and Order Criminal Intent. Which I do like SVU. I, I I didn't start watching SVU to about a couple of years ago, because I didn't see most of the original Law and Order episodes. But that's beside the point. But you know, he Johnny felt that he was never you know respected or never got accepted by the hardcore New Edition fans, and I could understand that because Johnny came, he was shaped differently, he was refined differently, he's cut. From another cloth, as they say. You know, but Chani came in to replace, well, was going to come in to replace Bobby, but he was actually coming in to replace Ralph because Ralph was going to go solo. So, you know, you know, him and Ralph became tight afterwards. They recorded their Heartbreak album, which was one of the best selling albums to date for that group. Okay. But, you know, the issues today, you know, came after the movie. They didn't go on tour. And now Johnny Gill put something out on Instagram. And a lot of people are getting mad at him. And I thought Johnny has gotten the unfair shake. And a lot of fans are hating on him because they feel as though for no apparent reason. You know, they don't like him. They don't like him because he growls. They don't like him because he's not Ronnie DeVoe. He can't dance like Ronnie. He can't dance like Bobby. Like, what do you want? Like, a lot of people, they just don't know what they want. They complain, but then they get mad. Well, why New Edition break up? Well, why do you care if they break up? Because you don't like, you like certain people. So you might as well just like the spinoff groups. So why do you care if they break up or not? But Johnny Gill, to his credit, says, you know what? Since y'all can't get yourselves together, I'm going to go do my own thing. You know what he did? He got a number one hit. From Soul of a Woman, number one hit on the adult R&B charts, and you know people gonna say, "Well, it's not the hot R&B 100, it's not the R&B hip hop charts." So what? It's number one on the adult R&B charts. Okay, L- let me tell you something. Johnny Gill, his music does not cater to the teenager young adult fans it doesn't it caters to the adult contemporary fans now bbd poison that's a different story that's a club banger people play that in the club okay bobby brown's my prerogative don't be cruel hopping around that caters to the same thing now rub you the right way the remix you might could you know make a case for that fair weather friend you can make a case for that because that's new jack swing just like poison but johnny gill caters to the grown and sexy adult crowd okay a lot of people aren't gonna like his music because they are from that hip-hop background okay fine and nowadays um especially here in philly radio stations like power 99 they used to back in the like 
from like 88 to like the early 2000s, they will play a mixture of R&B, hip hop, R&B, then hip hop. Nowadays, now, and DAS, DAS would just play straight up R&B, adult contemporary. They would play no hip hop at all unless it was Saturday night. Okay, Power 99, they played a mixture of it. Okay, nowadays, it's mostly hip hop. Every song you play, now you might have the Ella May and the Bruno Mars. You have some, they'll, you know, sprinkle that in there too. But mainly it's the, you know, the Migos, the um, Drakes. They play a lot of that. You know. Now DAS, they play a little hip hop now. They'll play the old school hip hop like Tupac, Biggie. They'll play a little Jay Z. They'll play, and they actually play Bruno Mars and Cardi B. I'm surprised they did that. But now you see the times have changed. Okay. Now, getting back to um, Johnny Gill and him not being a part of No Edition. Right now, Johnny Gill says he don't need New Edition right now because he's doing his own thing. He coming out with an album. He don't care. You can't get yourself together. I'm going to do what I have to do. Let me know when you get yourself right. Then we'll think about coming back. But he did say that the truth would devastate any fans. Now, I'm wondering what that truth is about. Now... I will invite him to, you know, come and talk to me if he wants to talk to me. It's just an open invitation. He doesn't have to talk to me because I ain't nobody. I'm just a YouTuber stating my opinion. But if he wants to talk to me, you know, I'll, I'll reach out on Twitter. You know, I'll have a conversation. You know, I don't have no hidden agenda to it if that's if he wants to do that. He probably won't, but okay. Just But at the end of the day, Johnny Gill is one of the best singers of all time. R&B natural singers of all time. And I think he gets a bad rap sometimes. He really does. And it's a shame. But he gets a bad rap. I don't think they should have did an unsung on him. Because he wasn't unsung. Because he was popular. But you know. It is what it is. Okay. Because all the members of New Edition. Had a career in their own right. But you know. He's coming out. He had Game Changer. He had, you know, a couple of hits on the Game Changer album. Now he has a hit on this upcoming album. So he's doing his thing. He ain't worrying about what New Edition is doing right now. He said, you know what? I'm going to let y'all do your own thing. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to do mine. And then when y'all ready to get it together, we'll come back as a unit and get it get it popping. But other than that, he ain't worrying about them right now. Well, let's just be honest. And fans have to stop the playing the favors and stop dividing it. Because it's the fans, some fans, I'm not saying all fans, some fans like to divide. And, you know, well, I like this one. I can't stand this one, but I like this guy. I like that guy. Well, I like BBD. I don't like Johnny. Ugh, his concerts are boring. But then you want the whole group to come together, but you don't like a certain person. Please, give me a break. But um, tell me what you think about it. Um, how did you feel? What did you think about what Johnny said in that interview? Um, I'm going to put the link in the description box. I can't play the interview on this particular video because it will probably get taken down. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.